Gold Breakfast with James and Erica. Gold Breakfast. The first time in, what was it, two and a half years we've been working together or so. Something happened yesterday for the first time. Both you and I did the school run. I did it with my kids. Oh, have you suddenly inherited children, Erica? Uh, no, I did it with my godchildren. Oh, right. A goddaughter and a godson. And all I can say is if I were wearing a hat, I'd be taking it off to you, James Cannon, because... Kids just tire you out. Where do they get all that energy from? Well, they're kids. Explain why did they tire you out? Well, Harry, the boy, had a few mates coming home from school. Uh, he's ten years old. And my goodness, they just talk at you all the time. But they each just speak louder if they can't get your attention. So four or five voices are going, Erica, 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 Erica. Asking how things work, if they can eat things, or if they can watch things on TV, what it means when they do watch things on TV. Why is it like that on TV? I don't know. It just is, okay? Your eyes glaze over. I really, after a little while, I practically dozed off standing up. Mind you, there is a similarity, actually, between you and me, actually. In what way? Well, we try and talk louder and louder over each other, and ultimately people doze off. <laughs> Today... Is Battle of Britain Day, marking 70 years since the decisive battle against the Luftwaffe. A squadron, uh, a statue of the squadron leader, Sir Keith Park, unveiled in London. And a fly past in the capital city today. I love it when they do those. I know, they're great, aren't they? We'd all have to stop and salute. And good morning to Keith Warwick in Ipswich, who has sent us an email. He says, hello, James. Hello, Erica. This month sees the 70th anniversary of the Blitz, and I thought it would be appropriate to share with you a story about my grandparents. They were living in West London at the time. The air raid sirens had blown ten minutes earlier, and Grandad can hear the droning of the bomber engines getting even closer, and the whistling sound of the bombs as they started to fall. He runs through the house and out the back door towards the Anderson shelter, grabbing Nan on the way. Halfway down the garden, Nan lets go of his hand and starts back towards the house. Where the hell are you going, Lil? He shouts. <laughs> she screams back, me teeth! My teeth! <laughs> I forgot my blinking teeth! <laughs> Grandad took her hand and pulled Nan towards the shelter. What about my teeth, says Nan. <laughs> Get in that bleeding shelter, says Grandad. They're dropping bombs, not ratty sandwiches. <laughs> what a wonderful story. That is brilliant. Thank you so much, Keith, for sharing that with us. <laughs> Do you know what? We're not even a week into the kids being back at school, I don't think, and... Uh, Already, Matthew's been on his first school trip. Where did he go? The fire station. Oh. They're going... They've had, I don't know, there must be an emphasis at the school about fire at the moment, because Tom has had a speech as well, and everything he goes around, he went, that won't actually catch fire, will it? You know. No, the... It's turned off. It won't. <laughs> it's utter, utterly impossible. Good, it's good that he's aware, though. Anyway, so Matthew, at age six, goes to the fire station, asked him how it went. He went, boring. I went... Well, what do you mean? I thought it'd be really exciting. You know, they were going to see the fire. They were going to do the whole uh, oh, wow. lighting. The you know where they create the fire in the tower and they yes. show the whole. He went. We were only there fifteen minutes and they got a call out, so they all went. <laughs> so, oh no! <laughs> the highlight of it is that he actually did see a fireman getting ready as he sort of jumped into the you know the fire tender. Cool. But that was it. And that was it. He said so. All we had to do we had to walk up there and it rained a bit and we walked back and it rained even more. Oh, so, I know. Maybe they'll take them back again. I don't know if it works out that way. Can I go next time? Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're here. I want to see all the firemen. Yeah. Gold breakfast with Jim.